Pre-production is the director's opportunity to prepare his material, the script, for filming. We all work to support his vision. All the production staff work with the writers in bringing the script to the screen and allows you to show up on the day of filming and put it on film. And background. Obviously, we start with our script, and the first thing we do is to try to figure out what our locations are, because that's kind of priority number one. So the earliest part of production is usually scouting locations, and in this case, we needed a desert location where we could drop a house in the middle of nowhere. We needed a neighborhood with a lot that had no house on it, and sort of an urban street, you know, industrial road. So that was our focus right away, looking for those places. Those things also need to relate to the schedule. Well, occasionally we may find a great location, but the way the schedule breaks down that Stacy does, our first assistant director, at the end of the day we may need to find another road that's closer to the studio so that we can make that move and still get our day shot. Because we only have so much daylight and then we'll be, and we all, it's all day work right now. I have about um, seven days total to figure it out with the director. That includes getting the script, breaking it down and scouting for locations, to do the casting, to work out all the visual effects questions, to make sure that props knows what they need to bring to the party and costumes knows how many doubles on wardrobe because we have people that wear the wardrobe and then we have wardrobe on dummies that we're building as dead people, what all those elements are. So we have about seven days to figure the whole thing out. Here we go, episode 15. In order for the, the creative intent of the script to make it to the department heads, we have meetings. The pre-production meeting is the chance to have all of the individual meetings that you've had in one room with the entire technical team. You go through each scene of the script and you talk about absolutely every single element you'll need for that scene in the script. Forever to play that. So they run out with the jags yeah, sure. and then it'll do it. Now the beams are there, it's partially okay, cribbed cool. up. Excellent. It's almost mind-boggling the amount of details that go into it, and it's everyone's chance to talk about what's expected of them and what they are responsible for. In the production meeting, oftentimes one department thinks they're gonna do something and another department thinks they're doing something. There are some specialties that sort of cross into each other's side, so that's where we, we figure out who's exactly responsible for what in a group form so that sort of everybody's now on the hook and responsible for bringing that stuff to the day's work. It's through direct communication. It's the only way it, it, it works. Probably have everybody around in here, Stace, so that she's got a clean shot at going to a place where she's gonna cut. Whenever we show up to film at a location, it's because the location was picked and prepared in the pre-production process. The Tech Scout is the opportunity for the director, sort of at the very end of pre-production, to take all of the technical people, art department, grip, electric, props sometimes, locations, out to the locations he's picked and walk them through the elements that he needs. We had a lot of choices for the empty lot, which was the more difficult thing to find. Once we looked at a few places, then they all decided, well, it should be on a corner. And I had a few different corner lots, and so they decided sun direction was important, and we found the one that we wanted. They can figure out physically where the lights go, where do the vehicles go, where can we park equipment vehicles that will not be in the shot and that won't move during the day. And then all the equipment should land over there. When we're writing, we're just picturing stuff in our head, right. and then they go out and they find a location on the tech scout. It's the, okay, we need to shift some stuff around in the writing to suit location. Okay. Uh, we have to decide if, what time of day we're going to be at a particular location. We want to decide the right time of day so that the lighting complements the location and the actors uh, for the angles so that the director's camera angles can, can sort of show the best part of the location and the reason we're there. All of that kind of stuff happens on the Tech Scout. 52 is interior Hicks House living room daytime flashback. Walter's killed and put in the wall by the ND killer. Seems like such a simple flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Prep is hard because things change and evolve. You know, the writers do some rewrites, the story develops a little more sometimes. Sometimes the location dictates what you're doing a little bit, so there's a little rewriting. So everything in prep sometimes feels a little fluid. 
like it's moving a little bit. I mean, the great thing about this show is that every department is really amazing, and there's almost nothing you can throw at them that they can't figure out or do in some way. They may have to rethink how you do it, but they've almost never said, yeah, we can't do this. They'll do everything they can to, to make it happen. Yeah, who knows what's going to be down there? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, you know, you know what your assignment is. Load up. Is. Let's go.